All right, the batteries are in. Look at these guys. We got about 60 kilowatt hours of Sonata 5300s. All right, let's talk about these batteries. If you were holding off for that one deal that, you know, that hasn't come before, these might be it. These are Boston Sonatas, 5,300 milliamp hour cells. I tested these a few months ago. Uh, the seller contacted me and I asked for samples and the samples came in and I tested them and they test full capacity, right? I can't tell how old they are. They have all these numbers. The, the spec sheet, the data sheet doesn't say much, but it does say a couple of things that are interesting. So here's a data sheet. Uh, nominal capacity, 5,300 milliamp hours. Nominal energy, 19.3 watt hours per cell. That's pretty, pretty good. Nominal voltage is 3.65 volts. Grab metric is 2.2 watt hours per kilogram. Uh, Volume metric is 490 per uh, watt hour liter, uh, per liter, right? Uh, so check it out, 2.2 watt hours per kilogram. That's actually pretty good. I think Tesla's like around 250, the Tesla Model S. So these are pretty high energy density, right? Um, 23 milli ohms, nominal cell impedance. So check this out, cycle life to 80% capacity greater than a thousand cycles. So these are legit, pretty legit cells, right? Um, standard charging method, constant current, constant voltage, right? 3.7 amps, so it's 0.7C to 4.2, 4.2 to 50, yeah. So, you know, just typical stuff, charging, recommended fast charge, eight amps. You can charge these guys at eight amps, which is uh, eight amps, it's less than an hour. So you could probably do these like 40 minutes, half hour to 40 minutes, you can get like 90% of these batteries probably charged up, 1.5C, which is really weird. Usually batteries don't like to be charged fast. Uh, nominal cell weight, 98 grams, upper in temperature, charge, discharge, it's negative 10 to 60, discharge is negative 40 to 70 C, storage temperature, 40 to 60. So they also have a cycle life at 100% depth of discharge. So this is basically going all the way from fully charged, you know, 4.2 volts down to 3. Point, you know, or 3 or what what would be the Actually it doesn't say what is the the lower, but I think on these batteries sometimes it's up down to like 2.5 volts, right? So if you do that full thing uh you lose about 600 milliamp hours in about 600 cycles, right? But this is the worst life that you can give these batteries and they'll they'll give you about 600. Uh, for If you're gonna use this for storage, right? Or for an e-bike or whatever, you could always just like not charge them all the way up, kind of, you know, charge them, you know, 80%, 90%. And then uh, you'll, you know, you'll be in the thousands, like I said before you know, uh, greater than a thousand, cycle life to 80% greater than a thousand, right? So I guess this uh, 4,500, yeah, it's not, it's less, lesser than 80% of the original capacity. So other than that, um, it has voltage graphs, temperature, discharge curve, uh, charge curve at 0.7C, uh, and that's it, not much else. As I remember, these will put out um, quite a bit of power. Let's see if we can find another information about what, what the power output of these cells are. All right, so here is the swing version. This is the Sonata, the swing version is the green one. And I think this is that cell that has, it's a power cell, 13 amps, right? 13 amps. Um, max continuous discharge rate. So this is the blue one. It's probably gonna be like around eight amps or something. So it's probably like a one C cell continuous or something. Um, right, this is uh, 
Boston Sonata 53 discharge, 10 amp discharge test. Now these are kind of weird because they're like two 18650s put together, right? Uh, but there does exist holders, sort of similar like this. So if you wanted to build a pack for an e-bike or something like that, you could. They do sell that and you could probably, you know, maybe modify it like regular holders and then, you know, cut them and whatever and then use them there. But also, let me show you how they are compatible with our PCB. First question, do they fit on our holders? And the answer is, yeah, I think you can put them on there. They fit kind of tight, kind of tight. Uh, you might want to put like a zip tie if you do that like a zip tie from the little Hole right here across so they don't so you can apply pressure and they don't want to pop out, right? I think you can I think this this works and of course you can do both sides of these uh, PCBs or you can do single or you can do double or whatever um, Yeah, I'm kind of surprised alternatively then you can also do the following. We're going to place these cells in here and glue them on here. Now they're glued, they're a little bit crooked, but it doesn't matter. Let's do the other side. Now, unfortunately, these are really hard to solder onto because it's got this aluminum thing, right? And so what you're gonna have to do is get yourself one of these cheap Sunco 788H uh, spot welders and then the get the, the, you know, the extending unit and then we can uh, spot weld these batteries here. Set it to 80 or 802 settings and then all the way up these are one quarter watt resistors let's see if it's got enough power to spot weld those so it doesn't right so next we try the one eighth watt resistors that one works there we go and you put several of these spot welds for redundancy, there we go. The next size, here we go. Now it's the last step, then we are going to solder that cable there. Right, so here we go, we just built one PCB with uh, double-sided, uh, you know, 14 of these cells, right? This would be, what, five, 10 amp hours, uh, 24 volt, and it would be capable probably of about, yeah, one C, right? So 10 amp continues, um, which is uh, quite a bit, 200, 200 watts. Something like that. I know the board can handle more. Probably the cells can handle more. I don't know if the those uh, fuses can handle more than six amps. Uh, so those probably would 
burn around that. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of these batteries. We only got like 3,000 of them. That's about 60 kilowatt hours. Uh, we're going to sell them. We're just gonna blow them out. I um, still wanna concentrate on the PCB. So I don't want this thing to take a lot of time away from that. And so we're gonna sell them at $100 a kilowatt hour. So that's about $2 per cell. These are brand new cells. We don't know how old they are. You might wanna cycle them, but uh, most all of these boxes are brand new. There's a couple of boxes that were open and you know the cells are not new. They had some spot rolls and stuff and those are the ones that I use out here to uh, play with them and build this stuff. And you know, I'm just doing all this stuff with those. Uh, so if you are interested in a $100 kilowatt hour battery and that works with our PCB, there we go. Go to uh, jehusgroupbuy.com. They'll be there uh, starting today at 10.30 a.m. Uh, and then until they sell out, right? So they're probably not going to last forever. There's only 3,000 cells. Um, so that's it. Enjoy these batteries. We'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, by the way, if uh, for some reason by the time you're watching this video, you can get those cells, there's also these are a little bit more expensive, but these are about the most energy dense that you can currently get. I think there's about another 5,000 of those uh, that you can purchase there. All right. Okay. See you guys in the next one.